Now we've all heard the term laughter is the best form of medicine. For one comedian, she had no idea how much she needed that to life through a curveball. Meet my friend, my girl, fellow comedian, Danielle Perez. <laughs> Danielle Perez was made for comedy. I am a party girl. I was out at the club recently, popping bottles, popping wheelies, as you do. But that was never part of her plan. Her life changed at just 20 years old. Danielle was crossing the street in San Francisco when she was hit by a streetcar. Her legs were amputated below the knee, and she spent the next month in the hospital recovering. Danielle struggled with depression and getting her life on track until she started doing stand-up at open mic nights. Honestly, I haven't seen Acts of Treason this flagrant since Kelly referred to herself as the second lead singer of Destiny's Child. Her big break was in 2015. <laughs> Nice when she you. ironically won a treadmill on The Price is Right. Her reaction went viral. And she soon started gaining popularity with appearances on major TV shows like Jimmy Kimmel. It's gonna be, I mean, I'm gonna cast it in bronze <laughs> and have it as a trophy to my network television debut. She uses comedy to share her story. But in return, it's helped her heal by finding her strength. Danielle is now a full comedian on tour and an advocate for disability rights, teaching people that her differences are actually her strengths. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yes, and joining us now, my friend, fellow comedian, Danielle Perez. Woo -woo! Danielle, you are an example of making the best out of a bad situation. Welcome to Denver, first of all. Thank you for having me. How's the city me. treating you? We like it here. I like Denver. Denver's great. Getting here was a big old pain, though. Yes, I saw you edit yourself there, too. Good job. <laughs> I did. <laughs> That's my girl. The spicy girl. Yeah. <laughs> You know, the wheelchair, airports, that's long roads, lots of travel. Uh, I hitched a ride on one of the little go-karts. Yeah. Nice. So get your little and you were here for the High Plains Festival, the comedy festival, right? I, the last night. That's last right. Night. All right, my girl. And you All had right. a really big year touring with Maria Bamford, which is awesome. Uh, what I want to talk to you about, first of all, your resiliency is so inspiring. So I'm just really honored to be uh, sitting right next to you. Now, I'm just sitting because Al was standing earlier. And I was like, standing right <laughs> Yes, it's going to be one. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know who runs this. <laughs> uh, talk to us about that moment in 2015, your big break. Price is right. How were you able to take that into a viral moment, capitalize on it, and do people still recognize you just from that episode? Oh, well, I mean, it was just so ridiculous. Like, you can't write or script <laughs> that. It's crazy. I just, I was so shocked that everyone else was acting like it was business as usual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't normal. But I mean, yeah, people still recognize me. I was out at a bar recently, and a guy was like, um, were you on the prices right? <laughs> that was five years ago. <laughs> well, you're a light that people remember, absolutely. Yes. So Danielle, when you're doing comedy, you're not just talking about your disability. You're also a strong, independent Latina woman. Yeah, she don't know uh, me. <laughs> That's right. Unless there are three flights of stairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is, well, I, I was going to ask what's the audience reaction, but I think we get what the audience reaction is. How does the audience receive you? They laugh. You know, I'm normalizing my body yes. and my life experience. And I think that if we can all laugh at something, we can understand it. And you don't see women like me on stage joking a lot. but. You can see me and you can laugh and you're like, all right, I get it. She's kind of wild. She's a little crazy. Yeah. We're all kind of wild and crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's I, think it's, I think it's healing and cathartic too, just like watching you. Uh, what are your future goals? What's next for you? I'm sure your, your fans out there and our DBL viewers want to know. Oh, doing everything, writing, acting, being on TV, yeah. taking Al's job here. Oh. Oh. That's why I said one segment and she goes. That's awesome.